Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own indigenous Southern African succulent terrarium. Now if you're wondering what a terrarium is, it's normally something made out of glass, a small little bowl or a tank if you may, and um, you either fill it with live animals or live plants. So today I'm only going to focus on live plants. Now, indigenous means it's normally from a certain region, like the region of Southern Africa. So that's why I'm going to be talking about them. Now, the four different species that I'm going to be talking about are all from South Africa and Namibia. So the more arid areas that we're looking at, they're from those areas. The first species is going to be Amorthia atunuata, also known as the zebra Amorthia. It's a stunning species. Then I also have two small little lithop species, lithop bucumpia and lithop uh, silicola. So those two are the small little hoof-like species that I'm going to show you. And the fourth species I'm going to show you is called Fenestraria rofnophila, also known as baby toads. So those are the four species I'm going to show you today. Call my terrarium is quite small. I don't want to fill it up with more species than that. Enjoy! Right guys, step one is to fill the bottom with crushed stone. The stone that I used in this small little terrarium was crushed granite. Now the granite pieces leaves a lot of gaps in between. The air thus leaves areas open for the water to, to fill up so the water does not stay stagnant in the sand, in between the sand, making the, the sand mixture too moist for the succulents. Succulents like dry sand. So that's why we have this drainage line below. Step two is use a rubber. to the terrarium. Now this mixture might vary from um, terrarium to the terrarium so in future I will have different mixtures for different terrariums. Okay and step six now I'm gonna add the plants. So the first plant that I'm gonna add here is called baby toes Fenestraria rapulophilia and they are a basically northern cape species they occur from the Makwaland and up into 
Luderitz in Namibia. Okay, you can see they look like small little baby toes. And I'm just using some coarse sand and pebbles around it. And that came with the, the plant in the small little container that I got it in. Right, now the second plant or plants that we have here are lithop species. Now both lithop acumpia and lithop uh, salicola, they both ex uh, prefer extremely well drained soil and lithop acumpia was named after Ioannita Ocamp who found a specimen on her father's farm in Postmansberg or in the Northern Cape. That was in 1928. Just a little bit of history there in between as well. And um, Lithops salicoa are also known as living stones. And they occur in Namibia and South Africa at an altitude of 1000 meters to 1350 meters. And they are all generally found in well-drained soils and in rock crevices. Okay, they, they're also both lithop species are the more tolerant species of occasional incorrect watering. So don't worry too much. Our, our last plant is Havorthia. And this one is Zebra Havorthia, also known as Havorthia Atenunua. And they occur in the Eastern Cape near Port Elizabeth. And they're one of the most commonly cultivated of Orthia species. They also prefer sandy soil with good drainage. So they love bright light, but not too much direct sunlight. So all four of these species prefer the same type of soil with good drainage and um, nice thick granules, sandy soil. So I'm adding a little bit more sandy soil around them just so that the water can flow through and pass their root systems easier. For seventh step, I'm going to do some hardscaping and I thought about getting a nice big piece of rock as you can see here but that's not going to fit the small little terrarium. So I got a smaller little one and uh, believe it or not this one actually fit in perfectly at the back there. And the problem was, I didn't want to push it in. That would compress the sand soil uh, mixture. And so I had to dig out a little bit of the sand at the back there. And then just fill it up with more sand. So that it, it won't fall over onto the plant. But rather just be balanced like it is. And it's my own preference to have a larger piece of rockscape in there. And uh, then I also decided to add some small pieces of bark. The bark is just a little bit more aesthetical, it looks nicer. But now and again, if it's a very hot day, not all of the moisture would evaporate. The last step is to fill all the gaps with extra sand. Now, uh, around the plant, there's lots of tiny little gaps that didn't look too nice. So I decided to take some normal sand. This is a finer um, sand particle, just around the, the plants and the terrarium uh, wall or glass and that makes it look a little bit more professional nicer and more natural in my opinion and I added a lot of sand at the back so that the rock could actually lean up against it Right, and there you have it. This is what my scape looks like. Um, I do think that as the Havorthia grows, it's going to grow against the rock and a little bit more forward, showing you those beautiful zebra spikes. And there you can see the drainage line. So the ninth step is gently spray with water. Now, I oversprayed a little bit here in the video but I just needed to show you what it looks like to spray them. So I won't be spraying at least for another week, maybe a week and a half, allowing for the water to evaporate. That was a generous amount. Last step, step 10, 
place the terrarium in a bit of sunlight not direct sunlight though in a nice sunny spot but also giving it enough shade right guys now that's as simple as that 10 easy steps to build your own terrarium now, as you know I do have a competition running so if you want you can also enter it there's a couple more days left for that just click on this link over here and that will enter you automatically and for the rest of you guys that are on my channel for the first time click on my face down here that's gonna subscribe you to my channel so have a wonderful Sunday guys enjoy